there fellow travelers this is Chuck with Let's Travel and Cruise. It is Sunday April 26th so just to share a little bit more information uh, with you this is specifically on Norwegian Cruise Line this is something that they put out on Friday April 24th so you may have already come across it but I'd like to go over this uh, up with you guys so I have uh, the information right behind me I'll make sure that I put a link below to the exact location of all of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. First, like I said, uh, April 24th, 2020 is the update where your safety is our number one priority both on and off the ships. Due to the current global environment, we are extending the suspension of all sailings, that's all of them, uh, across our fleet through June 30th, 2020 and plan to relaunch cruise operations with embarkation beginning July 1st of 2020. So if you're on a cruise between now and June 30th, it's it's over, it's done with. So it's the same situation with me. I was a, on a cruise set for mid-May and I was really disappointed. It was a dream cruise, but better safe than sorry. So I'm going to plan on going again sometime soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at their uh, suspended sailing information. So this is what it says. It says, guests who had an active reservation on one of the suspended cruises will automatically, automatically receive a 125% or 150% refund of their cruise fare in the form of an future cruise credit. They refer that to as an FCC. Again, that's an FCC, which stands for Future Cruise Credit. So it says, which can be applied towards any Norwegian Cruise Line voyage through December 31st of 2022. Now that 150%, 125%, that really depends on uh, the embarkation date. We're already past the embarkation date, which uh, for the 150% cruise fare, was March 13 through uh, March 17. So the 125% is for embarkation dates on the cruises between March 18 and June 30th of 2020. Okay, so it goes on to say, future cruise credits have all been applied for all canceled sailings except for those cruises that were scheduled to embark between May 15th and June 30th of 2020, which will be applied to your account uh, on May 1st. So let's go ahead and go down and take a look at some of this other stuff. Again, I'm not gonna go over everything. I will provide you the link below so you can read this for yourself and it will be a direct link right to uh, the specific location where this information is. So some of their uh, frequently asked questions it has here. It says, what costs are included in the future cruise credit, or the FCC? Uh, it says these are this is the following this is the following will be applied to the FCC your cruise fare and taxes including any winnings or upgrade advantage payments now flight arrangements booked through Norwegian Cruise Line uh, hotel and cruise tour packages purchased through Norwegian Cruise Line uh, shore excursions booked and prepaid through Norwegian Cruise Line uh, prepaid charges so you're getting the idea it's pretty much everything that was booked and paid for through Norwegian Cruise Line again I didn't go over everything but I will provide you all, the link for all of this so here's the thing if you booked your airfare if you booked your hotel any of that stuff tours on your own you are on your own so that means you'll have to contact the airline, the hotel, the tour company, and you're gonna to have to deal with them and work things out as far as getting any type of credits or refund. This is why one of the good things about booking your hotel packages and airfare and everything through a cruise line is if anything should happen, they will do everything they can to help you out with this situation. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this other stuff here. Um, tour conductor that refers to a travel agent or if you're in a relatively large group and here's something it says can guests use their FCC to pay for more than one cruise in the future and their answer is yes it also goes on to talk will out-of-pocket costs incurred as a result of the cancellations be reimbursed uh, that is what I was just saying that 
if you booked your airfare and your hotel and tours on your own, this is something that you have to take care of on your own. There's a lot of information here, so what I'm trying to figure out is what might be the utmost importance to all of you out there in general. So it says, what happens if the canceled booking had a previous FCC applied? Uh, it says the original FCC will be added back to the guest profile and then they will also receive the new FCC for the outstanding amount. So if you had a, a cruise credit from the past that was applied to this booking that you are currently on or that you were going on and it was canceled because of the uh, uh, COVID-19, that's going to go back to your reservation or to your name and then they're going to apply the current uh, FCC to your future booking. I hope that made sense. Uh, and then it also says, can guests choose to carry promotional amenities or values added from their canceled reservation to their future booking? So what that means is, as an example, if you got a, a free drink package or if you got um, a, a tips included and things like that, it says, at the time of cancellation, all promotional offers, amenities, and value adds will be removed from your uh, from the booking and they will not be carried on or carried over to your new reservation so it says future reservations are subject to prevailing fares and offers in market at the time of booking so what that comes down to is it means that if you had a 50 percent off on this cruise that you were going to be going on and it was canceled due to the COVID-19 and you're going to go on another cruise and there's only a 45% discount on that per current cruise that you're going to book. The 50% does not carry over to the 45. It's only the 45%. And again, if you had a free drink package on the reservation that was canceled now and it does not have it on the future booking that you're going to go on, that drink package does not carry over. So it is whatever is being offered on that particular cruise that you're going to go on in the future. So let's, uh, let's take a look at a couple other things here. Here's another new policy that Norwegian Cruise Lines has enacted since Friday, April 24th. And it's called Peace of Mind. So it says Peace of Mind is the company's new temporary policy that allows new and existing individual and group bookings in non-chartered sailings embarking through September 30th of 2020 uh, to cancel their booking up until 48 hours from the start of their vacation date and receive a 100% future cruise credit. Again, that's that FCC. Now remember, this, this is just 100%. It's not the 125 or 150. This is something different. Okay, so this is if you decide to cancel up to 48 hours prior to your cruise. This says this is for embarkation through September 30th of 2020. You're allowed to cancel your booking until up to 48 hours from the start of your vacation. And you will receive a 100% future cruise credit for the payments that are already received by Norwegian Cruise Line. The FCC may be used for sailings that embark on or before December 31st of 2022. The new booking must be made within one year of the cancellation date. So this is something new. So again, this is their peace of mind temporary policy. It goes on to say that that particular policy actually went into effect on March 13th of 2020. Keep in mind that this is what this says about the FCC. All future cruise credits must be redeemed within one year from issue date and can be used for sailings departing on or before December 31st of 2022. FCCs can be used for any purchase other than onboard credit. Okay. So that means that you can't buy a two for one and then you can't say, well, I had 125% uh, future cruise credit. I want to use that for my shipboard credit stuff. You can't do that. This is only 
going towards a future cruise credit, not onboard credit, not ship credit, not anything like that, not to pay for your shore excursions. So keep that in mind, okay? So some of you might be asking or wondering, hey, you know, I canceled my cruise because I had this initial fear of the virus and I canceled uh, back in February. Am I qualified to get an FCC? So under the frequently asked questions, it says, does this policy apply retroactively to previously canceled bookings? The answer that they give is no. The policy does not apply to bookings canceled prior to March 10th of 2020. So what is the process of canceling your reservation right now? So it says that for those canceling under the peace of mind policy, the FCC will be applied to the guest profile in seven business days. If the booking is outside your final payment date, refunds will work as usual. As always, for more assistance, it says to please call Norwegian Cruise Line at 1-800-327-7030. And that's within the US and Canada. Or, of course, if you book through your travel agent, go ahead and contact your travel agent and they will be able to assist you with this. And here's something too. Will the peace of mind uh, policy be extended? Who knows? Uh, it says Norwegian Cruise Lines reserves the right to modify the policy at any time and any changes will be communicated and most likely it'll be communicated via their, um, through the travel agent uh, partners or on their website or of course through me. I'll do the best I can to stay up to date with this information. Here's something new that's going to be uh, put into place with Norwegian Cruise Line. You might be wondering what type of changes will there be as far as future cruises. Um, if I'm sick, can I go? Well, actually, you don't want to go if you're sick. But here's something that they are going to implement as part of the policy. And it says, what is the criteria for denying guests boarding? We will continue to work with authorities to upgrade the criteria listed below. Please keep in mind that these can change at any time. So it says to protect the health of our guests on board, we will be denying boarding to anyone who, any guests with a temperature detected at or above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. All persons who within 30 days prior to embarkation have had contact with or helped care for anyone suspected or diagnosed as having COVID-19 or who are currently subject to health monitoring for possible exposure to COVID-19. All persons who have reported on the pre-embarkation public health questionnaire or who appear symptomatic are feeling unwell, are exhibiting flu-like symptoms or exhibiting difficulty in breathing. So. If you get denied boarding, this is what it says. It says guests who are denied boarding will be issued a refund for monies paid for their cruise. Only expenditures in the form of a 100% future cruise credit. So that doesn't mean you're going to get cash back or anything. It means that you're going to get a future cruise credit. So again, keep in mind that if you paid for your own hotel, if you paid for your own airfare, that is not covered. This again, is guests who are denied boarding will be issued a refund for monies paid for their cruise okay so there's a lot of things here a lot so i'm going to put like i said the link below be sure to go there and read this information again this is specifically on norwegian cruise line i will get some of the other cruise line information up over the next couple of days so let's hope that things don't change too drastically i'm looking forward to going on my cruise in september so I've got my fingers crossed on that and I am planning on doing plenty of other future cruises. Again, this is Chuck with us Traveling Cruises Chuck. Thank you again. So long folks.